Hiya folks, welcome back for more Little Cup Week. Uh, my Throwback Thursday match is no exception to the theme, and so today I am bringing you my first Little Cup match of the Gen 5 era. Um, this was probably my favorite Little Cup team that I've ever used. Uh, it was, there were just so many fun things. I was trying out so many new, fun Generation 5 mechanics. It wasn't a particularly competitive team, it wasn't going to be winning me any tournaments, but it was really fun to use. Um, so... Uh, my opponent's name is Athlete Andy. Um, Athlete Andy 1, I guess. Um, he leads off with Dwebble. I lead off with my Magic Bounce um, not to, which means that I don't have to worry about him setting up rocks. Uh, I should have worried about him going for Rock Blast because I'm pretty sure I was Light Clay. Uh, yeah, uh, that probably would have devastated if it had hit any more than twice. Uh, even maybe even twice. So now I go out into my Chen Chow. I actually don't really have too much to take these uh, hits. So, um, luckily, you know, he's going to be scared out by my Chen Chow. I just went for the Thunderbolt rather than going for the Scald. I'm not exactly sure why. I guess predicting him to switch out into Clampo? I don't know. Um, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and uh, Scald. His... He was expecting me to switch out here. I did not switch out. I go ahead and Scald his Munchlax. It's now burned, and now this Earthquake is not going to do very much damage. You'll notice that... Um, here I've got an Orenberry. Why do I have Orenberry? It does, makes no sense for me to have Orenberry when my HP is 27, but I hadn't yet done the math and realized that Orenberry only gives you 10 HP and only in cases where you get down below half. A Violite gives you an effective, uh, you know, half your HP in addition. So 27 HP, a Violite's effective health addition is 13 and a half hit points. So yeah. If your Pokemon ever has more than 20 hit points and you're not doing some kind of berry juice strategy, always, 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 always go for a Violate over Orenberry. Why would you go for Orenberry now? I mean, the, the now that we've got berry juice um, legal, berry juice was not legal back in Gen 5, no. Um, the, they hadn't really realized, you know, if we're allowing a Violate, we should allow berry juice as well. Uh, in fact, even in Gen 6, people argued about that a whole lot. People really wanted to ban berry juice, mainly because of recycled Pokemon, like this guy, like this guy. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, at this point, berry juice wasn't legal, but, um, and there were situations where Orange Berry was a better item than a Violet, but it was pretty, pretty rare. So... Here, um, I went for the Sucker Punch against his Gligar. I don't think... So Gligar was legal back in this era of Gen 5. Um, it was banned later on, but at this point, this is the very beginning of Gen 5 LC, and people hadn't banned all the things that were going to be banned. So, um, he now goes ahead and switches out into Why Not. Why Not, this was my first experience with Why Not. Um, I, you know, having had a little bit of experience with Wobbuffet, and having come just from Gen 5 where Wobbuffet was banned to Ubers, I was a little surprised that Why Not was legal. Um, because, you know, Shadow Tag, Magic, uh, not Magic Bounce, um, was the, the uh, you know, the move that reflects the attack, the special equivalent of Counter. But anyway, um, I'll put it in the annotations what that move is. But anyway, devastating strategy and whatnot, but just the fact that it has Encore means that it's incredibly powerful for um, getting free switches and other things. So why not, you know, you, you really don't see it very much because it's so weak in comparison to other Pokemon, but it actually is a pretty darn good pivot. Um, so here he goes ahead and Swords Dances, um, sets up on me, and even though I set up a Reflect, I'm like, eh, this is not good, um, because I don't really have too much that can survive hits from this guy. My Chin Chow, not a particularly great Pokemon to have against him considering he's going to outspeed and have the Earthquake. So, um, yeah, not really great. I go out, luckily I'm slower with, and of course I was going to be slower, that's part of the reason Glider was banned, because it's so freaking fast! Um, so I get the free switch into, um, my, uh, my Cyndaquil, I go for the Eruption, and I was like, yeah, that's going to kill, because it's going to do so much damage, and no, no, this thing's so freaking bulky, especially with the Violate. So, really not a good situation. He's going to go ahead and roost, um, on this next, so all that damage was for not. And that really sucks. However, gives me a chance to go for Shell Smash. I could even go for a second Shell Smash because my Sturdy is still intact. I could totally do that. Um, I'm going to outspeed even at this point. I go for the Rock Slide. I figure, let's not get greedy. Let's just go for the Rock Slide here. I was hoping for the Flinch. Didn't get the Flinch. Whatever. Um, I'm going to be down to 4 HP, but luckily Rock Slide is going to be a 2 KO, and I'm going to be able to take out that Glider. Easily the biggest threat on his team. Um, 
you know, I go ahead and set up rocks here because I figure that's the most useful thing for me to do. I'm not going to be able, I don't think I have Earthquake. This is a really weird, weird set. This wasn't your standard Shell Smasher. This wasn't your standard Utility um, Dwebble. So it was kind of this weird mixed hybrid thing. So it didn't have Earthquake, and that meant that um, I couldn't have really done anything to quote-unquote Steel Trap to this Magnemite anyway. But it's fine. Um, so why not is back out. I had it paralyzed earlier because that way, if he'd gone for the... That special reflex whose name is escaping... Uh, right, 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 the special counter that um, name is escaping me. Um, he could have maybe gotten paralyzed. But, but anyway, doesn't matter. Didn't happen. Um, I was able to take out the Thunderbolt. Here I'm going to be able to take out this thing with the Thunderbolt. Um, so yeah, Clan Pearl. Uh, I think Deep Sea Scale and Tooth were legal. Um, you know, they're still legal, but I think it was new that they were legal. And plus they had Shell Smash, so lots of fun things to play with. I think he thought this might have been Hidden Power Grass or Hidden Power Ground. No, nope, probably Hidden Power Ice. And that means that um, yeah, Burn really didn't matter. I was going to be able to take out next turn anyway. So this match is going to be over um, pretty decisively. I think I lost I lost uh, two Pokemon versus his six. Obviously, someone was going to lose six unless it was an early forfeit. Uh, so, hopes, folks, I hope you enjoyed what I consider this historical match. Not like it was a historic match, but it was like showing you what things were like back in this old era. Uh, so folks, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge so long.